Oh, the irony. Living on a farm and eating nothing but meat. But that's life. It's a paradox. Found so many times the opposite of what I thought was true to be true. So right now I'm just uncertain. But I'm checking out both sides so I know for sure. Check out the solar tower we made for the dome. Perhaps one day we'll absorb such skills. For right now I just get burnt. Till I reach that level of saturation. I got the skin on for the summer. Straight to the point. Potassium on the carnivore diet. Is it necessary? There is no blanket answer for everybody, but I can tell you my personal experience, and if you followed me through the past year or so, you've seen my own saga with potassium, how I ran into a hardcore deficiency with it after doing ketogenic for a period of time. And after I finally figured out what it was, cleared up edema, fatigue, digestive issues, so much went away, all because of one element. It was a profound experience. Now, I was taking it on the carnivore diet for the first two weeks, then I ran out, forgot about it. Then about four or five days later, my bowel movements just weren't as nice. I started sleeping in more and feeling fatigue and lethargy again. So I went to the store, I scored some of the most high quality, yes, that is sarcasm. This is a very cheap source of potassium chloride you can get, potassium and sea salt mixed half and half. Scored some of that, put it on my food, and was literally all copacetic by the next day. Healthy bowel movements, waking up early again, feeling better. Potassium is key. Sodium and potassium are two of the most fundamental elements in the transmission of all of the signals throughout our body, our nervous system, and the shuttling of nutrients in and out of our cells. Fascinating stuff. You actually need more per gram of potassium than any other element according to the RDA, which is extremely questionable. Based on the RDA, we need 4.7 gram, grams of potassium. A pound of meat contains 1.3, so you'd have to eat three to four pounds to get on either end of that spectrum. Many people in the carnivore diet are big fans of no supplements, which after my past escapades, I am a big fan of simplicity and not having to use supplements. So I totally support that idea. However, if it's a very simple addition such as that, that's inexpensive and easy to use and so drastically and noticeably affects me, then I'm going to use it. There's definitely a chance that I wrecked my kidneys in some form or fashion in the past because I basically have to keep using sodium and potassium or I start experiencing those feelings again. So it all comes down to the individual. But if you are feeling lethargy, uh, fatigue, digestive issues, it might be worth trying potassium in the beginning. And then many people believe the body adapts over time, especially if you're eating a high enough caloric intake. However, if you are an athlete, you're training a lot, you're sweating a lot or working a lot or prescribing for a caloric deficit, perhaps for its longevity benefits, which could all be questionable too, then supplementing certain minerals such as potassium could be a good idea. Magnesium is another one of them. Potentially that calcium. We'll get to those later. But potassium is actually loaded in those greens right there, but they're also extremely high in oxalates, which adheres to minerals like the calcium. So, you know, I still like to grow them. I love kalo. Still gonna have some at some point. Maybe a steak sandwich. That'd be nice. Well, that's about it. That's the topic. Potassium supplement. It's easy. There's other forms. There's potassium citrate. You can put it in your water. Most people find it is more, it's easier to take. It doesn't cause digestive upset um, if you take it with food. Some people have issues with potassium citrate. There's also potassium phosphate, but if you're on the carnivore diet, you're getting plenty of phosphorus, so stay away from that. Um, potassium chloride is just the simplest, the cheapest, most agreeable source and taken with food mixed with salt actually tastes pretty delicious so that's my choice for now i may try phases of not trying it for a period and week in a couple months if i continue this diet um, but for now it's definitely a crucial piece of my uh <laughs> my kit for my well-being 
I put in my water, I put in my food, shoot for around four grams, five grams a day. And that's where I'm at. Awesome guys. Lots of love and appreciation. Any kind of insights, inspiration, ideas, information you want to share that this video brought up, please share. If you know of better sources or a better way to get that potassium in, love to know. Um, got some good stuff coming, exciting days happening. Really appreciate y'all's support, subscriptions, sharing, the likes are all very helpful. So I appreciate it guys, lots of love, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.